A Helene is nowhere near peak projected strength, yet look what that thing whipped up more than 120 miles away from the eye. That's a monsoon hitting Cancun in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula this morning. By early this afternoon, those rains were gone and severe flooding was left behind, leaving cars soaked, drivers stranded. Meanwhile, surf was already way up around 5 this evening at the southernmost point of the U.S. Back then, the eye was still pretty far from Key West. Let's take a live look at the Keys now, where a tropical storm warning covers the entire island chain. You can see it's a little glitchy, but those trees are moving right now. This is Duck Key, thanks to weather stem. It's about an hour closer to the mainland than Key West. They're expecting tropical storm force winds all night long. The latest word, Helene is still expected to make landfall tomorrow night in Florida's Big Bend region. The storm should move ashore somewhere between Panama City and Cedar Key. News 6's Eric Sandoval is just about at the halfway mark between those two cities in Perry, where people are preparing for the worst. Tonight, most of the businesses here in the city of Perry are shut down, and a lot of them, like this department store, are boarded up for safety. A mandatory evacuation is in effect, and folks coming here to Perry are out of luck because most of the hotels are taken. The work stretched into the evening. We watched as these firefighters boarded up a glass door on Perry's City Hall, a building that dates back to 1903. All of our guys get called in uh, to work the storm, yeah. so there'll be a cramped house. Captain Ben Meacham has lived here most of his life. We've been told it's gonna have a little more punch to it, so that's one reason we've been boarding up. What about the residents? You a little more concerned about their safety too? Hopefully the last 13 months we've had as many storms as we've had. I, I, I feel like they're taking it a little more serious. Um, maybe just if there's nothing binding them here, just, just leave. Um, that's, the, that's the hope. So we'll see. Hopefully the, hope, the small town stubbornness won't set in too hard. Now is the time for you to evacuate. News 6 was the only television station at a press conference at the Taylor County Emergency Operations Center. Senator Rick Scott and state CFO Jimmy Petronas urged people to make the right choice and leave. A lot of people have evacuated and relocated here to Perry. How confident are you guys that Perry is a safe place to be during this storm? Well, all of Taylor County is under a mandatory evacuation, and what we're asking people to do is go, you know, go somewhere else, get out of the county. Now, you may see a few cars out there behind me, but there is a curfew in effect. It started at 8 o'clock tonight, and it continues until sunrise. And even after then, emergency officials are urging everybody just to stay put and stay at home. We're in Perry tonight. Eric Sandoval. Getting results, News 6.